What is up everyone? It's me Christian Katapong from Section B at Chrissy aka your Baklang Vlogger and welcome back again to my channel! Welcome to this subject Pack 110 or what we called as the teacher and the community, school culture and organizational leadership. So in this video guys, we will be discussing all about John Dewey learning through experiences. So without any further ado, let's proceed to the video. Before proceeding to our topic, let us know first who is John Dewey. John Dewey was born on Burlington, Vermont on October 20, 1859. He was a bright kid attending at the University of Vermont at only 15 years old and graduated his bachelor's degree at 1879. He was a co-founder of the philosophical movement known as pragmatism, a pioneer in functional psychology, an innovative theorist of democracy, and a leader of the progressive movement in the education in the United States. Progressive education, essentially a view of education that emphasizes the need to learn by doing. Do we believe that human beings learn through a hands-on approach? Pragmatists believe that reality must be experienced. This means that the students must interact with the environment in order to adapt and learn. Great educators make learning real, relevant, and rewarding. Dewey was one of the first to promote this approach in America. Now, here are some principles that run through his work. Dewey's approach embraced many of these things. He believed that students could learn an enormous amount by participating in relevant experiences. Now, every actions or experiences of others somewhat gives impact in our way of living because of having the same experiences we've encountered. By means of this, we are not only having connections with them, but also learning based on the same experiences we have in life. For instance, your community will be conducting a program that needs volunteers. It happens to be that volunteers will be coming up from the different places around the community. In achieving the main goal of the program, Working as one or having the teamwork might help you. This gives opportunities to have social interaction with one another, share experiences and ideas, for it builds a strong connection between each other. So as you've known each, the experiences of each other, it will come up to your mind to become cooperative to the people that surrounds you because of having uh, the participating or the participation in the relevant experience. Do we believe that learning by doing enabled the students to improve their problem-solving skills? They could then clarify the learning and apply it in their future lives. An individual must do actions after learning. Applying what we have learned is a symbol that we are trying to improve our way of living. It can improve the way how we analyze the situation and apply the best solutions to solve the problem. For example, when we are reading a certain text, we should have the realization for us to be able to understand what does this text really mean. After reading it, we should make a short realization about what we have read for it gives the opportunity to improve our critical thinking skills. We read, we understand, we analyze, and we apply it in our daily lives. This will help you improve your problem-solving skills. Before I end this video, guys, I want you to comment down below your takeaways after watching this video. So I hope that you've learned something in me and see you guys in my next video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification beside for more upcoming videos. This is me, Christian Katapang from Beatrice. Keep safe, guys, and God bless everyone. You